Hey Explorers, did you know that March is Women's History Month? While there are far too many great women working in STEM fields to name, I think it's an amazing idea to take a minute and talk about a few, as well as their impact on the world. Let's start with a name that you might already know, Marie Curie. Born and educated in Poland, she continued her studies at the University of Paris, and she changed what we know about the worlds of physics and energy during her pioneering research into radioactivity after she discovered polonium and radium. This led to advancements in medicine with the X-ray and life-saving cancer treatments, as well as other immense impacts on nuclear physics and chemistry. She won two Nobel Prizes for her work and even has an element named after her on the periodic table, curium. Before we move on, I want to read one of my favorite quotes from Marie Curie. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we may fear less. Elizabeth Blackwell was the first woman to receive a medical degree in the United States in 1849. She was originally turned down by every school she applied to, but persevered and was ultimately accepted to the Geneva College in the state of New York. Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell fought for the inclusion of women in the medical field and even went on to open a medical school for women with her sister, Dr. Emily Blackwell. Science! The next three women I want to talk about worked together and were pioneers in STEM fields. These three brilliant African-American women were co-workers at NASA. Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson were the brains behind one of the greatest space operations in history. Katherine G. Johnson was a physicist and mathematician who worked with NASA in calculating trajectories, launch windows, and return paths for many famous space flights. Her background includes such projects as Project Mercury, the first man to fly into space and return, 1969's Apollo 11, the first flight to the moon, and the Space Shuttle program, plans for a mission to Mars. Dorothy Vaughn was a mathematician and was the first African-American woman to be a head of personnel for the National Advisory Committee on Aeronautics, later known as NASA. She was the head of West Area Computers, leading a group of African-American mathematicians through crucial space projects. Then you have Mary Jackson, who was a mathematician and NASA's first African-American engineer in 1958. She influenced the hiring and promoting of women in science, engineering, and mathematics careers at NASA. Despite the obstacles at this point in history, these three females' achievements and work with NASA led to a successful mission in 1962. You see, computers weren't as powerful back then as they are today, and these three women teamed up to solve complicated mathematical equations. These equations were instrumental in astronaut John Glenn being blasted into space and orbiting the Earth three times. I don't know about you, but this sounds like an amazing achievement to me. Dame Jane Morris Goodall is an English anthropologist and primatologist. In the 1960s, with no formal academic training, Jane Goodall ventured into the forests of Tanzania to study chimpanzees in the wild. During her time there, she made several observations of chimpanzee behavior that challenged conventional scientific theories of the time. For example, it was believed that man was the only toolmaker. She observed that chimpanzees make and use their own tools, as well as have complex social interactions. These insights altered the way that we understood our place in the natural order. Jane's work opened doors for other women in science, and in 1977 she co-founded the Jane Goodall Institute for Wildlife Research, which still exists today and champions green causes. I also want to take a moment and recognize that this is only a few examples from a long list of women pioneers who have driven us forward. I recommend you take some time and research a few names of your own, or check out the book series Rebel Girls, full of inspiring stories of great women. Even though there is a month dedicated to reflecting on the achievements of a group of people, doesn't mean we shouldn't always take the time to reflect on the ongoing achievements of everyone around us. Do you know someone who works in a STEM field and deserves recognition? Tell them today how proud you are of their work. For other fun science facts, subscribe to Clayton's Exploration Station on YouTube and social media. Plus, if you have any questions you'd like answered, or experiments you'd like us to try, or you want to tell us about a great human who works in a STEM field, email us at info at explorationstation.net. Stay curious, explorers. Yeah.
Weekend Exploration Station.